this was the first time Wacky Chronicles traveled solo. While I was in India and Amruta was in the UK, I decided to go on a short trip with my family to Assam and Meghalaya. We started from Bhubaneswar and reached Kolkata in the afternoon to board our flight to Guwahati and we reached Guwahati late in the night. Assam is truly beautiful and has so many places to explore but as we are on a time crunch we decided to visit the famous attractions After having our breakfast our first stop was the famous Kamakya temple it was just a 30 minutes drive from our place of stay Kamakya Temple is one of the oldest and most revered centers. This temple is dedicated to the goddess of desire, Kamakya. Being built in between 8th and 9th century, the temple architecture has been rebuilt several times. and has been one of the pilgrimage destinations mostly for the people of bengal in the 19th century there are many great stories of mythology attached to this temple and is also known for its mysteries and tantras it is the most visited tourist attraction of the state Even though Guwahati is not our final destination but since we are here on transit exploring the city for a day did seem like a good idea after all After our temple darshan we explored the city for a while had our lunch and headed to our next destination Kaziranga Assam is truly beautiful with Kaziranga National Park its numerous temples lush greenery and definitely worth a visit From holy temples to scenic locations Assam also offers a wide variety of culinary culture to tourists including Assamese naga and meghalayan food We tried to make the most of the time that we had here before we start for our next destination. Many restaurants and cafes serve authentic local food with live music. Guwahati truly opens its doors to the northeastern culture through food and music which is definitely worth exploring. On our way to Kaziranga, we stopped at a beautiful cafe to recharge ourselves with some strong coffee. Though Assam is very famous for its tea plantations and produce, coffee is equally good here. So don't miss out on that.
It was early in the morning and a beautiful day to explore Kaziranga. We had pre-booked our safari tour and were ready for the adventurous day ahead. This is just a shot of me trying to drive the safari jeep which I failed miserably. So I decided to leave the driving to the experts and move to the back seat to enjoy the drive. The national park was just a short drive from the place where we stayed in Kohara. The tickets can be bought at the entrance of the park. The Kaziranga National Park has been on our wish list for a really long time. Though Amruta is not on this trip, but she had visited this park before during her school days with her family. I had heard stories from her of how good the safari experience was, how beautiful it was. And now that I am here, I can say it's definitely worth it. Kaziranga National Park was declared as a tiger reserve in 2006. This park also houses elephants, wild water buffaloes and swamp deers. Kaziranga National Park is home to the two-thirds of the world's great one horned rhinos and is a world heritage site. It was truly a great experience and should not be missed if you are travelling to Assam. With this, our tour to Assam comes to an end. We prepared ourselves to travel to our next destination, the abode of clouds, Meghalaya. This is Walkie Chronicles signing off, but stay tuned for our next video of Meghalaya. Until then, like, share and stay subscribed. Mm -hmm.